So hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So in this video, we are going to see the review of uh, Android 13 on MI A2. In this video, we will see the review of Android 13 on MI A2 on in-depth look. So let's get started. So before starting itself, I will just let you know that this video is going to be same as our previous uh, Arrow OS Android 13 video, but with minor changes. So I try to finish this as quick as possible. So this is the official uh, Takila OS uh, based on the Android 13. The uh, say a month old security patch, which is the October uh, 5th. And the kernel here is the uh, Scarlet uh, 6.0 which is based on 4.19. I really felt the kernel difference and you will too when I take the uh, testers about the performance and other stuffs. So uh, what we can start? Well as usual we will start with the boot animation. I will just restart the device. So this is the typical uh, Pixel Experience uh, boot animation. There isn't any much, uh, any specific thing for uh, Takila OS. So I can unlock it. So this one uh, also has the uh, features like uh, swipe down to open the uh, status bar that is good to mention so uh, first uh, we will go through the test that I have uh, gone through right after installing it so here I have all the bunch of uh, tests first we'll start with the DRM so DRM wise uh, it supports the L3 which is the normal one you can play the uh, videos in 480p I believe so in the Netflix and other platforms so DRM wise it doesn't damage the any uh, it doesn't damage anything so that is good to know and second i have uh, ran the cpu throttle test uh, which is as shown uh, which is also known as the uh, stress test so i have the screenshot with me and this is how it has performed it has the high uh, highs and downs but here you can see there are some uh, typical dips in the between in the in the same frequency so that is somewhat uh, needs to be considered but that is something is going on in the back end or something uh, but uh, so far uh, it always tried to pick up the things back and it just uh, worked really fine in that uh, uh, test case so the cpu is always stayed at the 34 percentage of its maximum performance which is actually good in my opinion. So it's not uh, having any throttling issue or something. Now we'll uh, check the uh, Geekbench score. So the Geekbench wise, I have tried it in the Geekbench uh, 5 and the score is uh, 320 in the single core and the multi score is uh, somewhat around 1450. I have run two times and this is the average score that I got. And the computation wise, it is uh, 620 and the score seems a bit higher when compared to other uh, devices especially uh, when it comes to the uh, other things so that is uh, uh, good to have it here the multi-core performance is little bit higher in my opinion so that is what something this kernel is doing in the background or something to get the higher score i'm not sure maybe you can tell it in the comment section and i have also ran the 3d mark and the score was the vulcan one is uh, somewhat like 494 uh, and the average fps is 3 and this one i started recently doing it and 90 it is 90 percentage of time it is uh, better than other uh, mia2 uh, score and here uh, it is comparing with the other uh, average uh, devices that recently has released uh, but this is not uh, something that uh, we may need to consider because it's already four five years old one and after then i have uh, ran the uh, camera to api and this one supports the level 3 by default so camera to api is enabled by default it should support the google camera unfortunately i didn't install the google camera but it will definitely support and here we have the open camera sorry google camera go as a default one this have uh, pretty much uh, the uh, features that we require 
and the next thing that we gonna uh, test is the important one which is the safety net and the safety net wise uh, i have run it and it passes by default and i also have uh, uh, checked this uh, encryption so this this one is not encrypted uh, which we have uh, seen it in the uh, installation video itself so that is good uh, so you no need to format the uh, data each and every time when you uh, move around within the e e roms so that is good to have and the next thing uh, i have to uh, uh, mention about the uh, netmonster so uh, i thought this is important because the network speed is always important and even though uh, this netmonster will show how many bands it is connected uh, currently even though uh, this one doesn't show lt plus or something aggregation uh, this is showing nearly some uh, uh, two uh, bands are connected uh, 2300 so i can now go to the um, uh, here and uh, I can test the network speed and 30 to 40 Mbps for uh, Geo it is actually good and this is what the normal uh, speed for the aggregation in this location if the aggregation is not there the speed will be like 12 Mbps to 18 somewhat like that so 35 to 40 Mbps it is actually good so network wise it is uh, still good so day to day performance as, as far as I am uh, concerned about it uh, this one is, uh, I would say, not bad. Also, at the same time, not great because I have used previously um, some uh, Android 9, 10, 11. It's going on. So, but when compared to the Android 13, the latest one uh, with this current, uh, this four years device, it's holding up pretty much uh, great, I would say. It takes some few seconds, one or uh, two to three uh, seconds to load it, but uh, I am actually fine with that. Even though it slows down or something, uh, it still uh, it don't crash or something. It is slow, but uh, it will just uh, works fine. Uh, So retaining wise it is uh, great so when you initialize the app it takes some two to three seconds which is common and it will just get to the things which is not recommend which is uh, has to be done and ui wise it doesn't have any glitches most of the time it is i would say i don't still it is more smooth or something but you don't give any weird glitch or something there is one glitch which i will uh, which we will see in the disadvantages of disadvantage section so scarlet uh, kernel is somewhat good i never used some uh, uh, popular uh, kernel or something but this one uh, actually feel I am able to feel some differences when I have uh, run the testers and other things so uh, performance wise it's somewhat uh, good in my opinion and gaming so gaming I did install the BGMI and I played it for half an hour one entire match uh, so uh, it is uh, it is playable and as uh, you already know uh, which is the same as the our previous Android 13. So I played the BGMA for 30 minutes and the in this in the normal HD graphics or something. So it will be giving like uh, 25 to 30 FPS constantly. Sometimes it will get glitch, but uh, that is more uh, uh, rare when lot of people are around in the around the environment. So gaming wise it is playable so that's what i would say and battery backup so this is really important also i can't exactly confirm how much it may give for you because it is already a three four year old device so again and i am mentioning uh, so screen on time i got somewhere around uh, four hours um, four hours i have fully charged a device and i just used it for four hours so uh, it gave four hour if you stretch it for some with the some battery tweaking or something it may go till 4 30 or something but it is not like uh, much earlier this device used to give six hours 5 30 to six hours but that is over the days now 4 30 
uh, expectable 4 is normal so 4 hours so charging wise i don't know whether it supports fast charging or not i have tried my 33 watt uh, adapter uh, with this it took like 70 to 90 minutes to fully charge maybe after reaching some 80 level or something it is uh, 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 how would i say it is taking some time to get to that uh, particular point so that's what about uh, battery charging and discharging uh, so uh, this is most of the things we have covered now. So what are the things that is bad in this one? Of course, it is latest Android 13. Uh, you are getting Android 13. So what you need to trade off for that Android 13? There is no customization in this one. They didn't bag, uh, baked it. Uh, so I am not even having any single customization like uh, there is no uh, network monitor indicator. There is no dedicated game mode to check the FPS or something. It doesn't even have the face unlock. Um, so only the fingerprint uh, just there. So if it is fine for you, you can just go ahead and install it. There is no nobody is going to stop. And two another things that I have noticed is uh, there is one it is already mentioned in the description of when installing it wallpaper glitch. So the default wallpaper that Takila OS had will be having some glitches when you uh, swipe it down or just uh, try to switch it between this one. It will uh, give some uh, light and dark effect something. So better you as soon as you install it you better uh, go here in the wallpaper section and connect to the network and you can just uh, change the wallpaper in the uh, style and wallpaper the on device wallpaper this one has some issues i think so yeah that is not a major issue but it is fixable but that's just letting you know because you may might uh, like the default wallpaper and when you try it you feel why oh, it is hanging it's a custom rom issue even though it's custom rom issue you can fix it by changing the wallpaper and second thing that I have noticed is when I have initially installed it, I just installed it in offline and after I am factory reset and I did the FRP, when I was doing it, uh, I felt that uh, Wi-Fi was constantly disconnecting uh, with my router and I restarted the device and uh, Again, the same has persisted and I just uh, kept it one day uh, just to mention that this has the Wi-Fi issue. So I'm not going to use that like that. I have thought and the next day I thought to do that. But somewhat it just got fixed and uh, all the things were uh, working properly now. Uh, so it is getting better and better day by day. So Wi-Fi had some issues. Uh, so you might also face it. But uh, how I fixed it, I don't know whether some other apps are running in the back end, which is constantly making the Wi-Fi turn on, turn off. Uh, but yeah, that is somehow got fixed. So what is uh, my verdict on this one? So it doesn't have much problem. Uh, you can use it for daily driver, that is for sure. But uh, the feature, just for the number, say 12.1 uh, or 12.12L to 13, uh, you want to use it, you can use it, but. I would say uh, Android 12.1 rooms uh, pretty much have all the features of Android 13 and uh, this is uh, no more uh, has the features which I actually prefer a lot. So thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe to this channel if you like this content and if you don't like this content just subscribe and tell it in the comments that you don't sub like it. and. Yeah, if you have the device and if you want to get, get to know about future updates, you need to be subscribed to this channel. So that is really important part. And the second thing important uh, is uh, joining our Telegram group. So we are running a Telegram group. It's not running. The servers are running. Uh, but uh, what we are doing, uh, the, we are collecting people with similar mind like you and me. I am already there but I don't know whether you are there or not. So just join in our telegram group. The link is in the description of this video. So yeah, quote motto.